the one and only Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Sugar Ray Robinson. Many consider him to be the greatest fighter in the history of this sport. Inducted into the International Hall of Fame in 1990, he fights out of Harlem, New York. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned. This bout is scheduled. What a great venue. And there's the bell for round one. Nice counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Both of these athletes' gas tanks are going to be tested. Endurance will be the key on an afternoon like this one. So Todd, let me explain to you. We are outside. Nobody can turn the temperature down. Nobody can turn the sun down. When that sun's beating on you, when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when you're getting hit, when you're getting hurt, there's no cool fan that's dropping in there. This is where it's real fighting, fighter on fire. He misses with that jab. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That punch landed. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Lands with the right counter. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Right punch. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The game plan is good round. I like that. Back. On to the second round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. The reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Nice punch. Oh, 
and they just got their bell rung. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He just misses with that big right hand. You'd like to see more jabs. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. As bad as boxing judge. And there's the bell to start round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchange here from both men. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're gonna find out. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good counter punching for both these fighters. Good punch. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. Someone's... You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And a counter left. Amen. 
Pretty dominant round. Absolutely. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. They score again with the left hand. Both men step back for just a moment. Good counter punching from both these athletes. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Hey, those punches add up. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Both men step back for just a, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, he is glad. Back into the fray here in round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. That one lands. believe this and wait a minute a left hand lands they call it the chin how strong is your chin do you have a glass chin these are things that can affect the fight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. It's 
So much for boxing. This is a fight. Beautiful counter punch. Caution being thrown to the wind. Both men step back for just a moment. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Defense is not an option for these two. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. That was almost a I like that. Here we go in the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Both men step back for just a moment. Oh, what a punch! There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. The perfect counter lands. Perfect punch. And he just misses with that jab. Good left hand. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. No power in those punches. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And time! Well, it's go back to the drawing board time. A unanimous decision victory. They've done it before. Now they're doing it again. And look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way. What tactics. What a game plan. What a result.